Now me, being an intellectual and a tech lead of a large team, decided last month to enforce a new mandate banning all object relational mapping tools. Because everyone knows SQL in its raw, purest form is the only way to go about doing it. A well-crafted SQL statement is pure artwork and should be admired. I write the most optimized SQL on the face of the earth. Not only do I use the explain statement in front of all my queries and read the output of running it, I run explain analyze as well. Now, one of my plebeians, Jeffrey, wanted to have a meeting with me today, talking about some ways to improve our workflow. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, Mr. Tech Lead. I know I've been here only a week and I'm kind of a junior developer but I'm kind of running into some issues with your whole mandate about banning all ORMs. You see, the code base is really cool and stuff because now I learn all the SQL, but I kind of want some abstraction. You know, dog? Like right now I'm running into some problems where uh, I'm kind of just writing the same strings over and over again to insert code and uh, this could all be solved with a little bit of helper functions, you know? Or maybe uh, a whole ORM, you know? It could just help us out. And my friend over at DuckDuckGoose Inc., they have this really cool technology that they were telling me about where they just write a model to represent their entire database. And then when they want to make a change to the database, they change the model and what it does is it compares itself against the state of the database and what the model should be and it writes a migration itself. Oh, I dream about that. Last week, you made me write this entire migration all by hand, which was great, you know, but also not great. You poor soul. You may think adding an ORM will solve all your problems but it will not. See, it adds a layer of magic over our entire code base. And it's a huge, leaky abstraction. It's like turning on the faucet and never turning it off. Soon, it becomes a waterfall. You don't want to deal with a waterfall. You run a couple commands through an ORM, now you have 50 billion SQL queries being generated underneath the hood. And you had, what, no idea at all. See the websites for ORMs may show you pretty syntax examples of how nice their ORM handles everything. But here, out in the real world, we're dealing with gnarly, I mean gnarly queries. Can you even imagine? an ORM trying to wrap its nasty little fingers around an actual query and being able to actually produce something that is not horrendous? I think not. Let me show you one of my biggest queries. I write them all down in my LaTeX journal and you tell me if you think an ORM will be able to write or handle this. Hmm. There it is, but I seem to have forgotten to escape one of the characters. And now LaTeX, it won't render any of the document. Hey, you could use Notion next time you need to write down notes for your queries. I do that all the time, it's great. I could do tables and charts and all kinds of cool stuff. Do not insult me with that hipster trash note taking app. All real engineers use LaTeX. I'm going to be creating a new mandate this week, enforcing the usage of LaTeX across this entire team. Thanks to you. And remember, 
never, ever use an ORM. But Mr. Tech Lead, what I was thinking was like, you know, a healthy mix, a healthy balance between using an ORM and then also writing your own SQL statements. Because sometimes you just want to do some simple CRUD stuff where an ORM shines and I don't have to, you know, duplicate my code and write the same thing over and over again. But then I can, you know, drop down to a lower level and actually write some raw SQL statements when I need them. When I got that gnarly query like you were telling me about, you know? And then that way it kind of solves both use cases. Or maybe we can compromise and do a query builder or something like that where it at least helps out a little bit when I'm generating all these SQL statements. Absolutely not. We will not dirty ourselves by mixing in a ORM with the pure, beautiful, raw SQL that we hand type. Never going to happen. And you disgust me with even suggesting something like that. You've given me a stomach ache. And I just feel disgusted with myself for even considering your suggestion for a millisecond. And now, the PB&J that Margaret packed me for lunch. I don't even know if I can consume that. Ah. Uh. So last month, I did a gold review of our entire gold base, which I do every seven years because seven is my lucky number. And what I found was we did not follow dry principles. Yes, do not repeat yourself. Now, what I decided to do was add slowly a little bit of abstraction. You know, just map a few things from the SQL to objects and so forth. But over the last month, this has slowly escalated. And where we find ourselves today is slowly but surely building the one thing that I did not want. And here I was, building and enjoying the ORM that I built. What's good? You know here at Dog Dog Inc, we use nothing but MongoDB Flex. Yeah, that's right. None of that SQL crap. We're web scale. That's right. You try scaling that SQL over there, buddy. We are making billions.